Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic and today I want to talk to you about food sensitivities. So a food sensitivity is different than a food allergy. An allergy is usually manifested by immediate symptoms. So you'll eat a food, you get some respiratory problems, you might get some hives, you can have something even as severe as anaphylaxis. And usually those are something that people are well aware that they've got. Um, so we're not going to get into that today, but we're more interested in food sensitivities for active and athletic people because as a sensitivity, it can drag your immune system down and cause a variety of different symptoms in your body um, that are going to decrease your performance. So normally what happens with a food sensitivity is that you eat something, you don't really have any immediate issues with anything, but you may wind up with some symptoms several hours or even the next day or even the day after that later. So that's why they're called, um, oftentimes you'll see them called a delayed food reaction or more properly it's termed a sensitivity. So what are some symptoms of food sensitivities? Well, the big one with athletes and especially runners are the trots. So the trots, the runner's trots are when you're out running and you've got to make frequent pit stops in the porta potty to go to the bathroom. No fun, obviously not going to help during a race or anything like that. So. If you're a person who's got the trots, we need to take a look at what you're eating and see if you've got a sensitivity to a food because that can manifest in your gut not being happy and thus you going to the bathroom all the time. Other things um, that sensitivity or food sensitivities may lead to in, a, in an athlete or anybody else for that matter is uh, difficulty breathing or wheezing or asthma. So if you're a person who's got some low-lying respiratory problems, or maybe you've had full-on asthma, or maybe you've been newly diagnosed with asthma, um, one of the first things you should check out is if you've got food sensitivities, because you can eat that food, it can create inflammation in your body. Um, we see that inflammation wind up in several different places. Um, asthma is inflammation of the lungs. Um, you know, the runner's trots can be inflammation in the gut. And then the other area that I see a lot of um, issues with sensitivities in, in athletes is joint pain. So we're all probably accustomed to some degree of joint pain. Um, you know, there's joint pain that shows up because your knee hurts, because you ran too far. There's uh, diseases that cause different joint pain, but I'm just kind of talking about ongoing kind of chronic joint pain that you don't really have a good reason for. So again, if you're eating a food, um, your body doesn't like it, your body is reacting to it in a sensitivity, um, you can wind up having some aches and pains in your joints, shoulders, knees, hips, those are some of the more common areas. So I can go on and on and tell you about all the different symptoms that you can get from a sensitivity, but let's just keep it short and I'll tell you that if you've got some kind of chronic symptoms, um, headaches, migraines, um, ear pain, um, you know, the joint pain, the asthma, the trots, the other GI issues, heartburn, reflux, a lot of these things have a cause in sensitivities. So the good news is that there are, is a really easy way to test for these and you can do this at home. We offer this uh, test on the site and what we offer is a 96 food uh, sensitivity test. And so you just do it with a finger, a little finger prick. You can prick your finger at home, you can collect the blood on a little piece of cardboard and you mail it off and it'll look at um, these 96 different foods and we'll look at everything from dairy foods to all the different grains, all the veggies, all the fruits, all the nuts, the seeds. Uh, there's some random foods in there too. There's things like coffee. Hope that doesn't happen to you. That You get a sensitivity to coffee. But anyway, you can test for these and you'll get a readout of the test and it'll tell you which foods your, your, your body doesn't like or that you're sensitive to. And so this is a great place to start if you're wanting to kind of clear the slate on your health dig a little deeper, find out what's going on, get to the bottom of things. And because if you've got a sensitivity, um, you know, a severe or a, moder a moderate or a severe one, I can almost guarantee you that by taking those foods out of your diet, you're gonna feel a ton better. So check it out. There's some information on the food sensitivity test on the website. And then we've also got some really good articles there too. Uh, I hope that helps and I hope you have a great uh, year with improved performance if you can identify and get rid of some of these sensitivities.